It's Mark from the United States. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Mark from the States. How are we doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate each and every one of you, as always. Uh, today, uh, this was a requested video, and it seems pretty interesting. So we've, we have did a video that mentions the Cotswold Way every once in a while. You know, it'll pop up and... Uh, this video was uh, sent to me by one of you, and it's about this American couple who are going to walk the whole distance. And I guess they're, if you want to watch the, this, the very first video of this journey of them getting on the airport, you know, going to the airport, getting on a plane and coming to uh, England, you can... Uh, go ahead and, you know, the link will be in the uh, description for this video. And you can just then go to the first one. But, you know, it's just uh, a video of them. Ooh, hopefully that's one of you sending me a request. Uh, they're going, it's just them going to the airport. You know, it's, it's like a, a full day, 23 hours or whatever it was. And they do arrive in London and... Uh, or not London, I think it was uh, Oxford, and uh, um, walk around and you see them kind of sightsee for a little bit. But um, this is the first day of their walk. So it, it, it would be kind of a cool thing to try to attempt. I mean, I'm not in the best of shape, um, but if you, I guess there's companies that will... Uh, break it up, and you can book the hike with them, and they can, they'll set you up in hotels every so you know every so many distance you know so many miles, and so and they get all that taken care of for you. I think that's awesome. That would be fun. That would be fun. I think. Anyway, uh, so this is their journey, and uh, <clears throat> they might still be doing it. I'm not quite sure how long ago this was. Um, but, uh, this is day one. So come, please sit on this big fake couch with me and enjoy this. Um, we're going to, I'm going to see things, me, uh, that probably I've never seen. Uh, hopefully they do kind of tap into, you know, what we're seeing along with their walk and, and it'll be, you know, an interesting take on their experience of doing this. This is, um, something different which is kind of cool. Let's, let's join these American, this American couple on their journey uh, through the, doing the Cotswold Way. So, should be interesting. All right, here we go. That was harder than I wanted to be. That's my heart rate. I said 167. I can't be healthy. Look at the cold people coming up behind <laughs> me, like not, not stopping, they're fine. We are Ben and Rach, and we're spending our vacation time hiking 102 miles in nine days. We wanted to celebrate entering our 30s, and what better way than with a challenge? And oh boy, has it been a challenge. Blisters, sheep trying to eat our lunch, and sweating a whole lot. Come along as we hike the Cotswold Way. Day one, starting in Chipping Camden, going 100 Miles, 102 miles, I think, to... Today? Bath. No, you dangus. Chipping Camden to Stanton. Yeah. We're each carrying a backpack. So this one's Rachel's. In here, she's got shoes. We've got a couple snacks. She's got a backup pair of socks. She has her first aid kit, which is mainly blister bandages, but this is also kind of a, a more comprehensive first aid kit, just in case we need it. And she's got all the camera gear also. So tripod, accessories, <laughs> chargers, Yada, yada. We went through a company where they set up hotels for you to stay in the whole way down. And they basically set your itinerary for you, but with oh, your input, cool. you know, you tell them how long, if there are any that's certain cool. things you want to see, all that stuff. They do a pretty good job of working for you. The company is actually going to handle transferring that suitcase from stay to stay. So we don't have to worry about dealing wow. with that. So because of that, we definitely way overpacked, but it's all good. I'm wearing my hiking boots, but I'm also packing my, my tennis shoes just in case for some reason I get blisters 
or a step in mud. Another thing we discovered on our last trip was when you when you get to pubs, most people have walked through the mud. So there's a place where you can either clean your boots off or leave them. So this way we can just leave our boots outside, put our tennis shoes on, clean shoes, walk in, grab a pint, and not uh, track mud anywhere. Snacks, camera gear, yeah. You excited? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> well, save the tears for after breakfast. They're gonna thank you hit the food. ready for this. I'm definitely gonna cry a little bit, I think. Uh, we just finished breakfast, met the loveliest couple <laughs> from North Carolina who we're having dinner with tonight. They are doing the exact same walk we are, with one exception. They're, um, they're staying one extra night in Painswick, whereas we're just gonna walk straight through. So nice. They're about to start the walk and so are we. <laughs> oh, funny. And this is it, the Cotswolds way. It says beginning and end. So you can either start or end here. All right, thoughts, feelings before we go. At this point, I'm just ready to get it going. You're supposed to tap this. Tap it? Yes. For good luck? You have to stand in here. <laughs> I'm starting, this is the beginning. And then you have to tap this. Is this true? Do you need to do all that? Tap. All right. I'm only tearing up a little. <laughs> I'm literally taking the first steps. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a walk. I'm going to cry. Tired. Can we take a break? I'm going to hit you. <laughs> this is going to be beautiful, surreal, dare I say life-changing? Only time will tell. Feeling really good right now. At the end of today, at the end of 10 miles, we'll see how I feel. I think we'll be okay at the end of today. I think the if there's a test, it's going to be like <laughs> closer to midweek or, or late in it. Okay, so we have maps. We have GPS that we can use. I'm not trying to touch any of that. My goal is to get through this whole walk only using these markers that they've got. The oh, whole I like map. it. The acorn is like the, the logo or the symbol for the Cotswold Way. So we should be seeing stickers and other little markers with that acorn on it with an arrow pointing us in the right direction the whole way. Let's see if they're good for a hundred miles. Doing all right there? Can you help me? What are you trying to do? Get the book out. We were sent a guidebook which has so much information about plants and birds and the trail and the towns and pictures, safety, where toilets are, what restaurants to go to, all in this. So as we walk, we'll be checking this, looking at trees, looking at birds, looking at signs. Hmm. It's a rock rose. <laughs> Wait, we can have it's a blackberry. You can't just eat blackberries. Yeah, you can. I can't. That is a delicious looking blackberry. Actually, that one does look good. All right. Cheers. Mmm, mm, good. Oh no. When you see a blackberry, Shut up. do not eat the blackberry. It's in the book, man. Huh? The first six miles stretch of the Cotswold Way is open hills. And it's a great introduction to the trail as a whole. La 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 la. <laughs> a gradual ascent, gradual, leads to Dover Hill. At 738 feet, the first of many high points along the walk. We are going to the second highest point, which is Barkley Tower. We're only 20 minutes into this hike. Uh, and... You get so focused on just moving forward that you forget to look behind you and just look at our view. Like this is unbelievable. And what's even better is you can do this, this hike either way. So if you're walking from Bath to here, this is what you see when you're about to finish. Can you imagine this was your, your victory lap? A lot of people out there. I wish I could describe it better, and I wish I could show it better. 
but it is it's something else out here. You gotta watch out for all the the landmines, the sheep poop when you're walking up Dover's Hill. There's a flock of sheep sitting in the middle of the trail. There's one guy that's watching us. I know. All right, we'll give him a wide berth. Now, if there's anything I've learned from watching Clarkson's farm, I think the little paint marks have something to do with their, um, the mating process. One's marked in purple, indicates that they've been, uh, what do you call it? I guess mounted. <laughs> so we've been taking a lot of pictures of the sheep. People are just walking by. And Ben said, this is the equivalent to like in Orlando, people from other countries will take pictures of squirrels and lizards. And we sit back and we laugh. But here we are like, wow, sheep. And they're just like crazy Americans. So we are it. Speaking of sheep, the history on the Cotswolds outsource. Basically their whole economy was built around wool. There was some saying back in the day about the best wool comes from England and the best English wool is, is Cotswold. Since, you know, the Cotswolds really have been a thing, it's been wool and sheep. And so there's just, there's sheep everywhere. This is all, it's all farmland. It's sheep and cows. We've been walking for about an hour. I'm curious how many miles we've done so far. Probably just one. Yeah, not many. But we've been, uh, Making a lot of stuff. We've been taking lots of pictures of sheep. <laughs> Landed <laughs> right on me. On you? Yes, we are walking through people's farms and land. That is what the Cotswolds Way is. You will walk through towns farms, backyards, gardens, and it's totally okay. It feels very strange, but that uh -huh. is how it's done here. So cool. There are some regulations regarding these walls that you'll see everywhere where if you look closely, it's there's no mortar or anything. It's just these flat rocks that are kind of piled on top of each other. And then over time, there's like moss that builds in and I'm sure that helps hold it together. But it's a, a really unique and specific skill set to be able to build these walls. Apparently I read it's something like they can only really build like six or seven meters in a day of wall because they literally just have like a huge pile of rocks and they're just it's a it's a jigsaw they're they're playing tetris they look beautiful they hold up i guess sometimes you have to deal with sheep knocking these things over but that's just uh, a part of farm life out here wow take it all in beautiful another gate another gate thank you Whoa. That was good? That one was sour. <laughs> wow. Sorry. That one tasted like, that one tasted like, honestly like a, like a blue raspberry uh, warhead. Found a bathroom. Happy, because I was definitely going to pee in the ones. <laughs> but yeah, two and a half miles in. Nice little stop. And we continue on. Two miles to Broadway. Looks like we're about to pass a very busy road. Turned off. We can go. Yep. And go. We're clear. Those are our friends, so we know. A, we're going the right way. Wrong <laughs> <on> time. <laughs> it's it, this has been very interesting, so far. Um, I'm just amazed at how many people are out doing the hike. Um, I don't know why that amazes me, but, uh, I think it's very, very cool. Um, it does look fun. I don't know if I'd be eating the berries, but you know, it, it does look fun. We are coming up to Broadway tower. You can see probably not right now. Yeah. But the very top of it is just over this hill. Very, very close. 
Feels like we're in the Shire. Yeah. This is where uh, King Arthur held court with his Knights of the Round Table. It's also where they filmed Braveheart. Is it? No. I got real sweaty real quick. Hi. No escaping. How are you getting here? Wow, that's cool looking. All right, Ben, do you want to climb the stairs? I will if you will. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Put it on you. It's actually not that high. Not too bad. Do you want it? It sounds like there's really a crazy backstory to it. There was uh, an architect. His name was Capability Brown, but it had that in quotes, so maybe that was the nickname. And it was presented as essentially a gift to an earl, the sixth earl of, you know, Sandwich, something like that. The late 1700s, it was kind of built as a, a gift and just served as a, uh, a destination for some pretty epic views. Yeah, you know, they got it right. We got this great little guide that tells you all the elevation changes so you see we're at broadway tower now we're walking all the way down to broadway and then i believe we end in stanton so a little bit more of a hike after lunch i feel like i can see the town where we're about to have lunch and a pint yeah Stop and smell the roses, absolutely. Don't get any ideas. Come on, it can't be that much. Ah. Not a bad way to uh, celebrate the first five miles. Right, we didn't get lunch, we didn't get our drinks, but we're gonna find a sandwich and eat on the way. Everything feels just a little bit heavier. My feet hurt just a little bit more. I'm scared. <laughs> I think Ben's scared for me too. We'll be fine. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. We got a pastrami with cold grain mustard and it's a salad. I'm assuming it's just the, the yeah. one that's on there. Broadway is a little bit more hustle and bustle than I thought. There's like a like a tour bus that's probably to go up to the broadway tower so you don't have to do the hike but it's a lot busier than chipping camden although i did yeah. read this is more like a, a tourist spot so i think this is about as hustle and bustle as it uh, as it gets <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love all the gates. They're all different. How you doing there, Chief? That was harder. Yep, she's to starting to feel it. That's my heart rate. It's at 167. That can't be healthy. Well, no, it's good to exercise. <laughs> wow, that's great. People coming up behind me, like not, not stopping. They're fine. This is just another Sunday for them. I'll call them old. That's kind of rude. Mm -hmm. We just walked past that church. Oh. That's crazy. It's crazy that we covered that much ground in the last five minutes. I don't understand hiking. All right, that was a nice little climb. How you doing back there, Rach? Do you want to know my heart rate? <laughs> I'm afraid to ask, but I think that was the, I'll say the worst of it, but you know, that was the, the brunt of that climb. We should be heading back downhill pretty soon. You good? Do it. Mm -hmm. 
That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We just realized we got through Broadway without really saying anything about Broadway. Oh, I have, I have information. Oh, here we go. Let's hear it. Uh, it's named for its wide central street. So, Broadway. Okay. It was huge. Yes. High number of visitors. Yep. Yeah. There's a couple museums, a few art galleries. Yeah. A church, which we went through. Yep. Broadway Tower. Broadway Tower. But, Broadway Tower. We were, I mean, we were there. You can't beat these views. I have no idea if you can see Broadway Tower back there. But it is poking up. Yeah. It's good stuff. <laughs> Close. Yeah, 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 nailed it. <laughs> I'm enjoying their backpack and a lot of their banter. Cotswold Way, Stanton, one and a quarter. All right. Home stretch. <clears throat> Let's go. You got this. That, the oh, one? That, that was a good one. Day one of walking is coming to an end. Rachel, thoughts? Happy and sad. Happy and sad. Yeah, it was, it wasn't harder than I thought, but it was hotter than I thought. It ended up being more of a challenge than I thought yeah. it would be. But I think that was because, mostly due to the heat, it is, I mean, it's not Florida, but it is much hotter than I thought it would be. Horse whisperer over here. Am I a horse girl? No, I called you a horse whisperer. Oh. Feet doing okay. Rich had to do a, a shoe change at about the midway point. Then we've got a taxi picking us up to drive us back to Chip and Camden where we sleep. And then it's going to take us back here in the morning and then we'll continue on. We weren't able to get uh, accommodations here in Stanton, but oh. we are. Looking forward to one more night in Chipping Camden. It's a really great town. Got some great pubs and restaurants and stuff. Let's get to Stanton. Hello. 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 How are you? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Really hot today. Oh. He's hot. He's riding a dang horse. <laughs> We've been walking all day. I'm glad to know I'm not the only one that's burning up and looking forward to that beer at the end of the day. Oh, wow. This looks like a town to me. We're at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because we've got 15 one day and 13 another. Mm -hmm. We made it. It was so hard. <laughs> It was okay. so fun, but that was hard. Look at my feet. Mm. They're raw. Fun day. Made some friends. Really beautiful views. A couple good pints. Just being out in nature. And it's so different. It's such a different, you know, it's all like meadows. I'm sure we have that somewhere in the States, but in Florida, we don't have anything like that. It's amazing. Okay, so we did 28,000 steps. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, I just got my socks off. <laughs> it feels amazing. Do you have blisters? No. Oh, lucky? I'm not going to subject anyone to looking at that, but oh, that feels amazing. I'm just going to prop these bad boys up here. 11.6 <laughs> miles. What um, do you have to describe today in one word? Just hot, I think. That's the word you're gonna choose for this whole day. That I'm not was, saying it's the wrong that word. That was my but big takeaway. I mean, yeah, you know, beautiful views and all that, but man, it was hot. All right, what's yours? Maybe I can think of a better one. What are you gonna say? Beauty? No. Elegant? Serene? Take all the, the good up. one Shut words. Up. Shut up about the sun. <laughs> one day in the books, we're gonna have dinner with our new friends tonight. Um, Going for an English classic Sunday roast. But that's it for for today for us. Come back for day two. Do we survive? How many miles is tomorrow? Thirteen and a half. We're going through to Cleve Hill tomorrow, and Cleve Hill is where we end. So that tells me that we're going to end the day with a big old climb. It's going to be tough. Yeah. 
You probably have an extra pint tonight for, for good luck. I like yeah. it. Okay, good night. Taking a shower, man. I feel gross. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. Thank you for that request. It's, uh, it's. I knew the 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 hike or the, you know, whatever they it's called Cotswold Way. I knew it was a thing, but it, it seemed like there was a lot of people doing it. So I guess it really is a thing. Uh, maybe it's the fact that they were doing it on a Sunday, it sounds like. So um, maybe it's just more crowded over the weekend and not as much during the week. So maybe on, in uh, subsequent videos, uh, day two, three, four, and five, whatever, uh, it won't be as crowded. But I just really enjoyed that. I, it's, it, it, do I want to do it? Sure. But I want to go to the UK. I want to go to England. I want to go to Scotland. I want to walk. I want to do all that stuff. I. This just makes me want to come. I think one of the things that, um, for their first day, is, yeah, the beauty. That would be my one word, I think. It's just uh, the views that you're getting. It'd be hard to film while you're doing this because when you're looking through a camera you're not looking around and there's just so many little things I don't I'm not a big bird person or tree you know uh, I don't know if I'd be too fascinated with actual like birds and trees and so on and so forth but I the, just the views I am a big view guy <laughs> and I like the views and if those views have birds and trees in them all the better but uh uh, some of the ones that they were showing on camera were quite amazing. And, of course, way, uh, Broadway Tower was interesting, uh, just kind of poking out there and up at the top of the little hill. and um, Yeah, really cool, really cool. Um, so, yeah. Will I do this? Probably not, but it, it just seeing it makes me want to visit. <laughs> and so, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, link uh, will be in the description for their channel. Please go support them. Uh, I hope everybody's happy, healthy, and safe. Thanks so much for coming. I appreciate uh, the suggestion uh, of this. It's really, uh, it, it's interesting. And I just, the fact that they, there's a, there's a, uh, a company that will set your accommodations, will plan your, uh, take your luggage from place to place. Brilliant. I think that's uh, it's really cool. Mm. Uh, all right, everyone. Have a great day. And uh, we'll talk later. All right. Bye-bye. Mark from the States. Mark from the States. It's Mark. Yeah.